Hi, it's YouTube survey time again because they're so desperate. They just want to keep knowing. They keep chopping and changing directions and um, based on the last survey, they just need to keep taking and then they cop crap for it. I need to take another survey oh, to figure out why people are so upset. So we want to better understand your experience as a creator. Please take this brief survey to let us know how you feel. Well, the last one took like 15 or 20 minutes. So, you know, anyway, what one of two? One of, hang on. What's the other message? We want to know how you, we now might improve. Take a survey. A second. A second. Well, I, do, I want to do the first one. I want to the experience as a creator. That, it's a double whammy. Double survey whammy. Two sections of YouTube. They probably had two separate meetings and we need a survey. <laughs> Idiots. Get started. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you for participating in this 10 minute survey provided uh, run by Course 5 Intelligence. They're being paid a crap load, I'm sure. If anyone knows how much they're getting paid to consult on this and run and analyze this survey, then let us know. Qualetrics. Okay. Anyway, Google may use data collected uh, in for the survey pursuant to its privacy policies. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. It's crap privacy policy, I'm sure. Anyway, I agree. Next. From this list below, Australia. Are you 18 years? <laughs> well, I'm over 13. <laughs> Next. I wonder if there's going to be a question in the um, about the uh, kids thing, the design for kids. We value your opinion. We'd like to hear your feedback as a... Oh, it's going to be a... It's not a multiple choicer. It's a wordy, wordy one. Please take this brief survey and tell us what you think. Your answers will help us understand, just making sure my microphone's on, unlike last time. Understand how to improve your experience. Think about the term well-being. Oh, God. This is like, oh, no. No, I know where this is going. I know where the rest of the questions are going, and I don't like it. Oh, it's about YouTube burnout, because they just, I got notified that they're having a, I think, I, yeah, I, I tweeted it. Follow me on Twitter. EV blog on Twitter for all my latest <laughs> crap I find in the dumpster room and just random stuff, stupid stuff YouTube do and other rants. Anyway, um, they're having this, uh, what is it, a, a, um, a well, it's not a wellness event, it's like a, a safe space. It's a safe space event for burnt out YouTubers in Melbourne. They don't use that term, but it's where you can come together and you can talk about how, how you know, problematic being a YouTube creator is and all that sort of stuff. And look, and nothing against, uh, like, you know, I, I, I feel sorry for my, um, I really feel for the YouTube creators who can't handle being a YouTuber. Not everyone, it's really difficult work. Um, you have to have a thick skin, you gotta have a real good sense of humor, and you gotta have not, you know, like people, you can't let people get under your skin, because it really is a, a 24 7, just especially if you're a huge YouTuber, 24 7 attack on you, basically. And if you can't handle that, um, yeah, I can see how a lot of YouTubers are going to burn out, hence all the YouTuber videos about burnout and stuff like that. Um, anyway, they're creating this event, this safe space event for YouTubers in Melbourne or something to go and I'll probably have psychologists there or something, I don't know, to talk about and discuss their problems and things like that. Well, being, please write your debt, which is nothing wrong with that. That's, that, that's fine on YouTube's part. Um, that's a great gesture, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's not something I'd be going to. Um, please write your definition of well-being using as many details and examples as needed. What? Uh, I, I don't even know what to put here. Like, I, I know what they want on this, and I could totally manipulate this response answer to tell them exactly what they want. You know, I'm... Uh, and, <laughs> <laughs> I don't worry about well-being uh, because I am well. Thanks. I don't know. I'm well. Thanks for asking anyway. <laughs> because I'm always well. Thanks for asking anyway. I... Don't let any of this YouTube stuff get to me. I have a thick skin. <laughs> I, look, come on. I, I, 
I, I should tell them I know where you're going with this question. Um, well being. Uh, like, no, no, because I'm not always, because I'm always well. Thanks for asking anyway. <laughs> if that's where you are going. I don't let any of this YouTube stuff get to me if that's where you are going. I have a thick skin. Next. Uh, it's not what they wanted, but what, I, I just know. I didn't come here for a counselling session. Now, thinking specifically about being a creator on YouTube, what? Oh, well, here we go. I knew it. Just it, what does well-being mean to you? Again, what? Oh, oh, right. So I had to think. Oh, God. so the first. Uh, uh, ditto to the previous question. I didn't know you'd ask again. <laughs> I Look, I know I'm going to cop a lot of slack for this video because, you know, mental health and all that, very important stuff. And, and as I said, like, it's, you know, we, we've got in Australia, we've got the Are You OK Day, uh, for example, where you ask your mates if they're OK and things like that. And I've had people ask me, and I appreciate it. And I'm fine. I'm always fine. No worries about Dave. Um, and but I understand other people just yeah can't handle things and that's that's they should really seek professional help if that's the case don't or you know um, at least get your friends at least talk about it get your friends to help you did to the previous question so that's a, that's the problem it's like um, people talk about this like uh, headaches for example uh, migraines stuff like that everyone goes oh you know headache migraine and I've never had. A headache or a migraine in my entire life. I, I simply cannot relate to anyone who has a headache or a migraine. I, I you know, I, and like it doesn't make me mean that I don't understand people with migraines. It's just I, I have no reference point to understand it. It's just like I have very little reference point to understand depression or something like that. Um, you know, things like that. So I know this is going to be a depression quest thing. Um, yeah, I think. That's where they're going with this. Anyway, please be specific and use as many. I didn't know you'd ask it. I did owe to the previous question. I'm no look. I didn't want to do this. There are many types of well-being. Who do who do you think contributes to supporting these different types of well-being? There are many different types of well-being. Who do you think contributes to supporting these different? Who is like who is currently contributing to supporting different types of well-beings? Pir supporting contributes to supporting primarily creators, but partially it's like this is it. Oh, like wow, and they're going into financial and physical. Well, like a physical hello, physical well-being has nothing to do with YouTube. Financial well-being, oh. Who do you think contributes? I think it. I think it's badly worded question. It should be who do you think should contribute to supporting these different types? Because that's kind of that's what they. Am I wrong? That that's what they're asking here. Geez, I I had no idea what I was in for with this survey. Wow, this is going to take an hour, and and I'm just going to not be able to answer. I I'm just not a relevant subject for this, like. You know, maybe they should have asked up front, you know, are you having any, have you ever had any issues with, you know, well-being or something like that? If the answer is no, then you, you probably shouldn't be filling this out, I guess. I don't know. Emotional well-being. Uh, what? Like, how are you, like, oh, who do you think contributes to supporting these different types of well? I think it's, they're asking, I'm going to assume they're asking who should be. Okay, social well-being. Well, no, create, ah, oh, look, financial well-being, well, both equally, it's a partnership. When a creator's in partnership with YouTube, we're both equally responsible for this thing. We join, we produce the content, we do all the hard work producing the content. YouTube do all the hard work to keep the system running and to create the platform and to get the advertisers and everything else. Um, so, you know, both equally. Um, but a social, I, I think social is both equally because of the, like the comment system, for example. Um, and, you know, so both have to work there. Emotional well-being. No, I think emotional well-being has to be on the creator and physical well-being has to be on the creator. So I, that's what I'm... 
Please think about emotional and social well-being and what it means to you. In what ways can YouTube help you to achieve emotional and social well-being as a creator? Please. Thanks for asking, but I don't have any issues in this regard. How much do you agree or disagree with the statement, YouTube cares about my well-being? I, look, I, uh, <laughs> I know they don't know. I, I disagree. So I'm going to say disagree slightly, even though they did that excellent, you know, offering to send YouTube creators to this um, well-being thing in Melbourne. Um, I don't know about anywhere else in the world, but I'm because I'm an Australian YouTuber, I guess it was only sent out to Australian YouTubers. Um, so I'm, I'm going to, but the reason I'm going to disagree slightly is because uh, they are, they do not uh, keep creators informed of what's actually happening. And they never listen to us, oh, well, rarely, you know, and it's just, no, I'm going to have to disagree slightly. You end up, oh, you, now I've got to explain it. Please tell us why you answered the way you did. Watch my video. <laughs> oh my god. This is painful. It really is. This is so not what I thought I was getting in. I should have chosen the other. <laughs> Choose your own adventure. Should have chosen the other uh option. The the other survey. Wow. Wow. <clears throat> um to protect your privacy, don't share any personal info. Um uh, Because YouTube often do not listen to the creator about their needs. Especially in regard, bleh, regard, yeah, to social, uh, I don't know, tools. No, no, I don't know where I'm going with this. I don't. Because YouTube often do not listen to the creator about their about their needs. But your Melbourne Well Being Conference thingo is appreciated in spirit, because I'm not gonna go there. How many YouTube channels do you currently upload to? Three? Technically four, but let's say three. Which gender do you most identify with? I identify as a penguin. I I will put that <laughs> as a stormtrooper. I you know, <laughs> male. It's just ridiculous. Anyway, and what leads to ridiculous things? Oh, that's it. <laughs> that's it. It was just about well-being. Thank you, Google. There you go. Anyway, what was... Can, can we do the other one just for kicks? What's the other one? Get started. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. English. Considering that you displayed it up the top in English only. Um, yep. I'm going to go with that. How satisfied or dissatisfied are you with the personal support you get from YouTube? I'm somewhat dissatisfied. <laughs> you know could say I'm, I'm not very because I'm not really affected so I'm going to say somewhat and why are you somewhat dissatisfied you see my main partner manager does not support me with my needs uh, I do technic or I had a no I had a partner manager but they sent me an email saying they would discontinue I no longer had a partner manager for some reason I can't remember what it was it was like okay whatever um the business, I don't know, wasn't my, my channel wasn't big enough or I wasn't, I don't know. Oh. The business plan channel analysis performed by my partner does not help me. No, see, I didn't want any of that. When I have a specific issue with my video, I do not get the help I need. YouTube events do not provide value to me as a creator. Um, they don't. That is true. Um value to me as a creator yeah they don't it, it's not necessarily youtube's fault it's just that like uh, there's no one else there of like who's creates similar to content to me so i don't i don't get much value um technically but yeah anyway other uh someone 
the issue is mainly what I see with other creators and not me personally. Why spell personally? Right? No idea. You selected YouTube events do not provide as influence. You know, what was one thing that has contributed to this? I nothing inherently wrong with the events. They are fine. It's just that I don't feel like I fit in with the other type of creators that go to these events. Granted, I have met um, several um, cool uh, creators who I've um, stayed in touch with um, at, at these events, but in general, I stopped going to them because I felt like a fish out of water. That's that's just me. Like if there was a, you know, or an engineering or a tech YouTubers event, I'd be, you know, be all over that like a rash. But um, yeah. You said you were somewhat dissatisfied with the personal support you get from, despite that, do you agree? My main partner manager supports me with, no, I, no. I get the, uh, Wow. There is nothing satisfactory about the support I get from YouTube. Wow, they so they're forcing you. Does that mean they're forcing you to say something positive about your uh, support from YouTube? Is that am I wrong in that? Is that what <laughs> that was my first gut reaction to that? <laughs> when I have a specific issue, I get the help I need. Other uh, I ah uh, wow. These surveys are terrible. Do you agree with <laughs> Select all that apply. No, no, next. I, I don't have to. Please answer this question. You've got to answer it. Wow. NA. Take a moment to think about the different aspects of being a video creator on YouTube today. What you like or what you don't like about it. How um, satisfied with you as a place for video creators? Ah. Oh. Oh, I'm somewhat dissatisfied. I mean, it's just it's it's just going to shit, really. I mean, not personally for me, but I can see it happening for others, and that's the problem. Like, I'm i I'm, I'm doing fine. Like, so I've got I've got to think about other creators, really. Why are you somewhat dissatisfied? Again, it's not about me personally, but it's about what I see happening to other creators <clears throat> you keep uh, pushing creators down and down on the importance list with silly hate speech rules the new kid friendly um uh, new kid friendly the what selection rules etc right all right excellent let's go you indicated you are somewhat dissatisfied with YouTube as a place for which of the following statements influenced your answer. I can't create the content I want on YouTube. See, I, I've answered this before in another video. It's not that I can't create the content. Well, technically, that might be true come January, so I'm going to tick that. But I know that other creators, I know of other creators, even in my field, who cannot create the content they want to create. Um, it's not that they can't do it. It's just that they get penalized for it. So YouTube doesn't care about me as a creator. Yeah, pretty much. But I, I can understand that. Like I'm one, I'm the 35th thousandth biggest creator in the world. Like it's like there's 35,000 or something bigger than me. So like, you know, doesn't care much about me as a creator. YouTube doesn't provide me clear communication. Yeah, they're pretty shit. YouTube doesn't provide me the tools to succeed. That's not true. YouTube doesn't explain why some of my videos do well and others do not. Uh, that is true. They don't. Um, YouTube as a platform changes too often, you bet. Being a YouTuber is too stressful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pretty stressful, but see, that's just water off a duck. I mean, you know, quack, water off a duck's back. 
but it's pretty stressful. I can't build a community. That's not true. Unless you're a kid channel. See, like, uh, I can't make enough money on YouTube. That's not true. YouTube doesn't, although if I was just earning the money from YouTube, I'd be, I probably wouldn't be doing this as a full-time living if it was my only source of income. Um, the <laughs> Mrs. EV blogger make me go get a real job. YouTube doesn't provide me the support when I have questions or issues. Well, that's, yeah, that's pretty true, but... Well, I, well, yeah. Or if they do, like they fix things and they just know they don't explain why it was fixed. Um, yeah. Please rank the stuff. Oh, God. YouTube. Ah, oh, importance with. I goofed this up. I've done this before. I've done this before. One being YouTube doesn't explain why some of the. Changes too often. One. Because I put. Oh, yeah, they goofed the five. They fixed it. No, this is different. Because I numbered more than three or whatever, or five. <laughs> Changes too often, doesn't care. Uh, it doesn't provide me with clear communications. I can't create the content I want to. Well, that's... that's I'd rather create the content I want, or others want. Uh, five, six... For me, personally, I don't care about it being too stressful. It comes with the terror. What? Six. Yeah. Ah, oh, three. Yep, yeah, no. I, I did it again. D Dumbass Dave did it again. Didn't read the question. No. I'm going to say three. Boxed into a specific type of content. Views and other metrics, they certainly do. I'm boxed into a specific type. I'm not, personally. YouTube is too serious of a platform. Yes. Yes, you're too serious. Like you're trying to solve issues like hate speech. Go away. We don't need you to solve it. Just go away. You already have a tool to report bad comments and stuff like that. Leave it at that. Like... I'm worried that my content will be censored. Yeah, kinda. Yeah, it already is. I've done a video on this. The word bullshit is censored. Yes. Forgot about that. YouTube's copyright policy is too restrictive. Oh, I wouldn't say it's too restrictive. You mean, you've, you've got to have it. You know, you've got to have it. Um, but, oh, no, I'm, I'm not going to tick that. Community guidelines are too restrictive. Yes. None of the above. Then now they're going to ask why. Oh, select three. <laughs> I feel YouTube doesn't care about me as a creator because my questions are not... YouTube doesn't trust me. Well, no, they do because they got the new things. I've done this before. The needs of media companies are priorities and needs of creators like me, absolutely. Only tick three, Dave. The needs of creators with more subscribers are priorities and needs of creators like me. I wouldn't say that. Um, the big corporate ones are, but you've already said that. The needs of, not media companies, like the big, oh, well, yeah, they are media companies. Needs of advertisers are priorities. Rules are not enforced consistently on YouTube. Well, yeah, let's just go with those, whatever. I want to get out of here. My content can, can be, my ton, content can be unfairly taken down. Uh, yeah, change too often. Content policies change too often. Recommendation algorithm changes too often without notice. Yep. Uh, content policies changed. Content policies change monetization. Oh, which one? Which ones? I can only pick three. The content can be unfairly taken down. Um, it's nothing to do with changing too often, but whatever. Um, those. Next. Jeez, no. I can create the content I want on YouTube. <clears throat> I can connect with my audience. I can. YouTube provides me tools to succeed. They do. I have opportunity to make money. It's true. I can reach a broad audience. It's true. I can grow my business or brand on YouTube. It's true until they terminate you <laughs> because you're not commercially viable. <laughs> YouTube provides me with clear communications. No. Provides me with support when I have no. YouTube makes it fun to be a YouTube creator. No. It's no. They, they don't make it fun. They make you worry about stuff be concerned about stuff so no they don't please rank importance with one 
three of the statements you selected. YouTube provides me. Uh, broadest audience has got to be number one. I can connect. It's got to be two. I can create and three. I feel I can create the content I want because I can create YouTube stories. I don't care about YouTube. I don't know what it even does. I can create live streams. I can upload content in any topic I want. I can make a living. It is a safe safe place to express myself. Ooh, that's loaded, isn't it? I feel I can create the content I want on YouTube because it is a safe place to express myself. Well, the internet's not a safe place to express yourself, so that's silly. I can... <clears throat> select up to three. I'll only do two. Reach your broad... Jeez! My content is always there to be discovered. Yeah, mine is. Other contents get deprioritized. Is it easily searchable? Well, yeah. It has the biggest potential audience. They don't... Well, they do promote. 50% of my content is promoted, but others don't. So, you know, do I speak on behalf of myself or other content creators who are getting shafted? International reach. Oh, whatever. I'm, I'm done. I can feel connected with my audience. I can interact with my own community tab while I'm live streaming. While I host a YouTube, my audience YouTube premiere sucks. Through video comments. Uh... Technically, I use Daily Motion, but not Twitter. I, I don't create content for Facebook. I push it there, but I don't create content for Facebook. So I'm not going to give Facebook a a metric there. Um, and Vimeo. Bitshoot. Done all this before. Most satisfied with as a place for video creators. I'm most satisfied with BitChute. <laughs> Twitter's a place for video creation. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> um, which of the following platforms are you most satisfied with as a place for video creators? Most satisfied with YouTube? Other. And other. Oh, what? I'm most satisfied with... No, I'm most satisfied with YouTube. Okay, whatever. What? I can't choose more than one. Stupid script. <laughs> Unbelievable. Say hi to... Susan Alphabet for me. Alphabet. Done. Catch you next time. That was painful.